legend sunrise it's my skull that was delicious hey guys and happy international women's day so today I worked all day and I thought it would be really nice to do a little bit of a pamper evening. I did see on my Instagram today that someone said, seeing as it's Happy International Women's Day, go and pamper yourself. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I thought that was such a good idea. I've literally just walked in from work and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to sit down and unbox these parcels. I cannot wait to show you what's inside them. Also, I thought I would just show you what I wore today. So this is just like a white shirt from H&M and I've paired it with a pair of dark denim um, these are the Levi ribcage jeans sorry I can't show you like a full length but I also paired it with my new black loafers if you've seen on my Instagram I bought some Charles and Keith black loafers and then I used my Fendi bag so how I've been using it for work the last few days is I just leave the actual flap tucked in and I just carry it like a little tote by my side and it is such a great size. It fits my A5 planner perfectly and then everything else just kind of falls down the side. So I've loved using this. It is nice as a change, like not to have such a big bag. So one of these boxes is actually a box swap with my friend Lou. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you probably would have seen I've done one of these before. But I was so lucky enough to meet Lou here on YouTube. She also has a YouTube channel um, and we're into a lot of the same stuff. So if you like my kind of content, I'll leave her channel link below. But basically, it was her idea to do like a little bit of a gift box swap um, a few months back. And we enjoyed it so much that we wanted to do it again. So that's what we've done. I've sent her my box of goodies um, and she unboxed those on her channel. So I'll link that video below. But her box of goodies has just arrived and she always spoils me so much. So I'm so keen to open that with you. But I am thinking the first one I will open is this Zara order. So I ordered just a couple of bits from Zara because I have been re-jigging my wardrobe lately. Um, and there are a few pieces that I was unable to find on Depop. So 90% of the clothing I've been able to find, like these ribcage jeans, I've got another pair of jeans, the Charles and Keith loafers, like honestly I got so much stuff off Depop, but I did make a list of a few things that I was just unable to find, and I, yeah, have found them on Zara. So I did go ahead and purchase them brand new. So here is the box here, and like I said, I only ordered two things from Zara. So as you can see there, oh my gosh, stunning, exactly what I wanted. So if you've been following me for a while, last winter I wore this little green jacket over and over again. I literally did not stop wearing it and it's in so many of my Instagram pics. But I knew I loved the style of that jacket, I love how it was cropped and I was looking for another one for this winter and I saw this one on Zara, I just thought it was so cute. Um, but a lot of the jackets I found in this colour on Depop were long ones, um, kind of past the bum, almost like a blazer length. And I was particularly looking for one that is cropped because I find it more flattering on my body when I'm wearing like high-waisted jeans. I just think it's, I just tend to reach for it more to be honest. So I found this one here on Zara and honestly it already feels perfect because it's nice and thin. And our winters don't get very cold, so I was looking for something a little thinner. So as you can see there, I don't know if you can tell from there that the thickness, it's not too thick. I also really love the black button detailing, it just adds a little bit of contrast and a little more interest to the jacket and yeah, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this, that is going to be perfect. Look at it with the Fendi bag. That is a match made in heaven right there. So yeah, super excited to style that up and whenever I do, I'll be sure to post it over on my Instagram or I am looking to do a more of a capsule wardrobe styling video soon. Um, and then the next item I purchased are a pair of shoes that I was hunting for on Depop, but I didn't know the name of them. So I was kind of typing in ballet flats and typing in all this stuff, but the, there was one pair that came up, but they were $300. Um, and I just wasn't really really willing to pay that. So I purchased these. Look how beautiful they are. They're a stunning black velvet and they do have a little bit of silver hardware on the side. And I have been seeing these all over Pinterest and they look so cute with jeans. And I was just really, really wanting a pair for this winter. So I found these ones on Zara and I knew that I did not have, to have time to think on them because they're the type of style I honestly think are just going to sell out so quick and I'll be kicking myself um, trying to find them again because they are quite unique. So they are the ballet flats 
and as you can see the detailing on the side there so so beautiful i am so excited i might even just try one on now oh my god they fit perfectly they are so cute so that's what i ordered from zara and now for the fun part time to open up my box from lou and oh my gosh i'm so excited so i think i might open from the top i just it shows both my home address and lou's so that's why i'm kind of not doing a bird's eye view right now oh my gosh i'm so excited so what is this Oh, we have a very cute, oh, this is a little, here's a little note. So it's a really cute note. I'm not going to read it out loud because um, I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit more of a personal one. I just feel so grateful that she commented on my video that day because it has just opened up this whole door of a, a new friendship. And I'm just so excited to see where Lou goes with her channel. And I'm really excited to see where this friendship goes because I know it's going to be a long one. And who knows, like maybe when we're old and grey, we'll still be doing little box swaps. Like that is what I hope for. So thank you so much, Lou. That is so cute. And I make sure that I hold on to all of these little letters. So the first thing I can see, oh my gosh, I really wanted to try one of these. This is one of those um, hair curlers, but without any heat. So, oh yes, it has a little how-to in there. That is great. Okay, so the next thing I see is a couple of little... I was literally thinking of this. See this? This is the cutest little hand sanitizer. I was literally the other day like, oh my gosh, I should ask Lou to include one of those things in her next box spot because I think they have them over there and we, I can't really find them here. So thank you so much. It's crazy. We literally are the same person. The next one is this vitamin C detox skincare energizing facial spritz. I won't spritz it on my face because I have makeup on, but oh, that smells so fresh. Doing that in the morning is just going to be a game changer. The next thing is another Rituals Repair um, lip balm. She included this in my last box spot because it's also her favorite lip balm and I am almost through it already. So she's included another one. Thank God. It is my holy grail. And Chanel. Oh, Ultimate Radiance Generating Serum Foundation. Ah. Oh my gosh, anything Chanel, I absolutely love. This is so cute. So, oh, it's a little foundation. So cute. Oh, this is going to be so good to try. It looks really, really nice and hydrating as well. I love all of that. That is so, so cute. Okay, so the next thing, oh, a t-shirt. Don't tell me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Lou bought one of these for herself. And I loved it. I commented on her, I think it was her video, and said I love the All Saints shirt. And she's went and got me one. And I love that she got me a medium because I only ever wear oversized t-shirts. If the t-shirt is too, um, I usually never go for a small. I always go up a size. So that, I can already see, will be perfect. I just loved the print. Like, look at that. That is going to look so nice with like denim shorts or black jeans and like a big coat throughout winter. I just know I'm going to wear this so much. Thank you so much, Lou. My sister is going to be so jealous of this. Look at this, guys. A Starbucks cup. I will use this so much. I love that it's just like the classic colors of Starbucks. It's going to look great in photos and I'm just going to feel so bougie hopping in my car in the morning with my homemade iced coffee. Because it's hot here majority of the year round, iced coffees are like our thing. Okay, Victoria London. What is this? Jewelry. This is honestly like Christmas. Honestly. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. Look at that. It's like this beautiful gold ring. I love, 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 love that. That to me is like an everyday ring. I keep looking and I'm like, why is there more? Like that is enough. I've been, oh, I'm so spoiled. Oh, this is the, um, this is the handbag cleaning stuff. Yes. Okay. So the brand is Havre, Havre Deluxe. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But Lou did an absolute transformation on her Chanel bag. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll also link that below. But it was insane. And ever since then, I was like, oh my gosh, I need those um, handbag cleaning products. So they have their gentle cleanse. Um, there's also like a really cute little mitt. 
and this is obviously for cleaning the bag. I'm actually really keen to try this on my recent bag purchases because they all need a good clean. And then here, there are also a bunch of cleansing wipes, which I will definitely use. So guys, I will link this brand below. If you are on the hunt for any handbag cleaning products that are super gentle on your designer handbags, then this is the one to go for. So I'll link that brand below. Okay, so I think this is plan of stuff. Oh my God. Okay, so they are stunning. Look at these little stickers for my planner. Absolutely love those. I'll definitely be using those. I just love all these colors. What? brand is that? Plan and Stow. Or Plan Stow. Oh, sticky notes. I did say I needed some more sticky notes. These are the transparent ones in the color Cove. Love, love those. Thank you so much, Lou. Uh, the next thing is a memo block. Oh, and it also has a little pen holder there. So that'll be great. And it's white and gold, which will match my desk really, really nicely. I really needed one of these. It's just like sometimes the real simple things that you kind of keep forgetting to pick up. So that'll be great. These look absolutely beautiful. Look at these pens. Oh my gosh. And we, I can see here we've got a bunch of stickers. Wow, so cute. Time for tea, coffee date, dinner date, brunch and drinks. They will come in handy so much. We've got a bunch of other ones. We've got to-do lists holidays yes i'll need those for when we go to new zealand and then this one here 2023 this is your year to dream big i think it says yes absolutely love that i'll definitely be popping that into my i love things like this where it's just like monochrome um i can just slip that into my planner and it's going to look really nice and match what i've already got so absolutely love that and then we've got notes or you can never have enough of these. These are just lined pieces of paper with notes on it. And the next one is passwords. So that is so good because I don't currently have a section for passwords. So that is going to be so helpful. So thank you so much, Lou. I feel so spoiled. And guys, can you believe that not only has she sent me all this, but she's also sending me a Louis Vuitton toiletry bag. Can you believe that? So Lou has been getting into her eBay bidding and she came across one. She has one herself. And I was saying to her that I also really want one. It's on my wish list. And she went and purchased me one, which is just insanely generous. And I just cannot believe it. And yeah, I'm honestly just speechless. And when that arrives, I'll be sure to show you guys. And it's just going to be really nice that her and I both have matching toiletry bags. And I will keep it forever. It is going to be one of those things that... It just has a beautiful memory tied to it. And yeah, so thank you so much, Lou. So I was going to take Remy for a walk this afternoon, but the weather has completely turned and it honestly looks like it's going to rain. Um, but yeah, tonight I really do just plan on giving myself a little bit of a pamper. I'm going to run myself a bath. We have HelloFresh for dinner, which is just so easy. Ryan and I love HelloFresh. So I'll bring you guys along for a very relaxed, chilled evening. So something that really helps me to relax, especially when I'm in the bath, is some lavender oil. And I like to pop this into my tea light burner. It just lets off such a beautiful scent. Very subtle, but very relaxing. For Valentine's Day, my sister bought me a pack of products from Lush, and I am just loving using their products at night. Tonight I'll be using Sex Bomb. It's one of my all-time favorites. I'm then going to be using a Nivea scrub just to wash away all of my makeup from the day. And then I'll also be going in with a sheet mask because my skin really does need that extra hydration. For my body, I have been loving this scrub. I got it from TK Maxx. I find it just exfoliates my skin so well. For my skincare, I'll be using the Ordinary Matrixel Serum. I believe this is supposed to be good for anti-aging. I'll then be going in with the IT Cosmetics Moisturizer. For my lips, I'll be using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And then for my body care, I'm just going to be using this Gracious Minds Moisturizer.
so while Ryan cooked dinner, I thought it would be nice to set the table. I love to do this whenever I can. I feel as though it makes dinner that little more special. On tonight's menu is a beautiful honey soy chicken with some roasted veggies and a salad. For dessert, Ryan and I just had some ice cream and we love to add some passion fruit because it's quite fresh, especially on these hot, humid nights. So it's just hit 6.30 and I am so tired already. Like, I had so many ambitions for my night. I was going to get my planner out, do a little bit of planning, I was going to paint my nails, but honestly I just feel like finishing off my ice cream brushing my teeth and tucking into bed. Um, Ryan and I aren't really watching much on Netflix at the moment, so maybe tonight we'll start something new. If you have any Netflix series recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. I have quite a particular taste in what I watch. I think I just like shows that just don't have a lot of up and down. They're pretty... I mean, a lot of people would think they're boring, but that's the kind of stuff I like to watch because when I just want to relax, I don't want my heart racing, I don't want any of that. And I find that those kind of action series or anything just really get my heart racing and I find it hard to sleep afterwards. So yeah, maybe we'll look at watch something new, but to be honest, I often take my iPad to bed with my AirPods and hop into bed and Ryan can watch what he wants to watch on the big screen and then I can watch... What I want to watch on my iPad. So if you don't like watching the same shows as your partner but you still want to spend time together, trust me it is so nice to get your iPad and headphones on and you can still be together and spend time together but you're really enjoying watching your own show. I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about just like the past week and if you guys feel the same but I've been quite flat and not very motivated and I honestly think it's just because a few things. One, at the beginning of a new year and at the end of the last year, so Christmas is really busy and the beginning of a new year you're setting all these goals and expectations for yourself and you have a burst of motivation and I honestly think come March I'm just a little bit tired and just fatigued really and another reason I also, I think it's apparently it's full moon and that can affect your mood and I completely believe in all of that stuff. I mean if the moon has the power to change the tides then I 100% believe that it has the power to change some kind of chemical imbalance in your body and anything that's living on the earth. And I know that's a little bit deep, but that's what I believe. Um, so yeah, if you guys are feeling the same, just know that you're not alone. Um, these feelings do come and go. I mean, I'm pretty lucky. 90% of the time, I'm a pretty happy person. I would say my default is definitely positive. If anything, I can almost be... Is toxic positivity a thing? I've heard of that. That is me in a nutshell. So yeah, I'm kind of just riding this wave. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'm not pushing myself. And I'm taking this time to do a lot of self-care and just kind of relaxing. And I feel as though you guys should do the same because honestly it helps so much and I already feel so much better just the past couple of days taking things slow. It's just a weird time. Whenever your mood is down, it's so crazy. You have all these thoughts that you don't usually have. Like I've been really thinking lately about a bit of like the purpose of life, what are we doing. I, I know people who are nurses or um, people who are like paramedics or firefighters, they're doing a job where you're, they're helping other people. And sometimes I feel in my career choice, am I helping other people? You know, all those thoughts like should I be vegetarian? Why can I have a beautiful dog and love it so much and I have so much personality and here I am eating meat? Like, just all of those thoughts have been crossing my mind lately, which has been a really good thing because um, it has forced Ryan and I to have a lot of chats about, like, our life and kind of where we're going. And I feel as though we've come to a pretty good conclusion. We're just going to try and do better and be better. Um, I'm currently looking into local charities in our area, seeing if maybe every payday I put aside a certain amount and donate it to a charity. Like these are the kinds of things that when I, for my job, I don't particularly help people that I feel as though I'm still contributing to my community in some way. And I am in no way complaining. I fully understand that some people are just trying to get through each day. So those down days, I'm just trying to turn it into a positive um, and really work on any thoughts that I c kind of come into my head while I'm feeling those feelings. But I am feeling 
a lot better. Exercise helps so much. If you are someone who's more of an anxious person and you tend to have those um, down days, then for me personally, exercise is a game changer. It is an instant fix. So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys are up to and how you're feeling. Um, it's already March. The year is flying yeah just let me know what you've been up to how's everyone's wardrobes going are you all kind of prepping for the change of season just all of that kind of stuff i would love to hear from you guys but anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this evening routine i hope it was entertaining enough for you if you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments below because i'll be sure to create more and to be honest these videos like any vlog style videos really don't perform very well at all they only get a couple of hundred views if that compared to some of my handbag and fashion related videos Years. but for me that does not matter at all this whole channel is a passion project it's a hobby and I want to continually create content that brings me joy and creating this style content where I actually get to sit down and just chill and connect with you guys is far more important so even if just one person watches this video and has a nice relaxing night then that is all I care about but anyway guys I hope you have a lovely day or night depending on what time you're watching this and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.